Our convicted terrorist David Hicks is back in the news and it's not going to go away until we hear him speak. Apparently he's been offered a million dollars to be on 60 Minutes and tell his story. Now the thing is I'd like to draw a comparison here with former South Australian Premier John Olson, the Honourable John Olson, who resigned from Parliament in 2002 after being found to have given misleading evidence to a judicial inquiry and to have falsified information. Now, he had since gone on from 2002 to go on and be our US Consul in New York and in 2007 he was awarded an Order of Australia. David Hicks, on the other hand, is just an ordinary citizen who was found guilty of being involved in terrorist activities, which he joined, of course, as a soldier after being a mercenary in Croatia, the Yugoslavian Wars. And although I'm not really in favour of what he done, I must admit that I do have some queries about the reaction to what he's done by some people compared to the reaction of a politician who, after telling the people that he'd been dishonest and accepting the judicial inquiry, was rewarded with a consular posting and an Order of Australia medal. The point being this, doesn't David Hicks, as an ordinary citizen, have a right to continue with his life? We would never have heard of him before until the war on terror began.